It's been the most violent decade in Trenton's history, and yet they're laying off police. And the state is subsidizing a failing city-owned hotel that continue to go deeper into debt as we continue to pay for it. As the hotel's debt increases, so does the city's murder. And Senator Linda Greenstein has nothing to say about it. And neither does Assemblyman Wayne D'Angelo or Assemblyman Dan Benson. And neither do the Republican challengers Peter Inverso, Steve Cook, and Ronald Haas. But independent candidates Sean O'Connor and Don Desarm do. You've got other concerns in the city of Trenton. So while you've got this hotel that is $30 million in debt, you've got 30 murders in the last eight months in the same city city that could use more police officers, a city that could not only use more police officers, but could pay their police officers better. As violence in Trenton continues to rise, and the government continues wasting our tax dollars on failing businesses, Sean O'Connor and Don Desarn are speaking out want to really highlight the major loss that Trenton has to suffer because of the burden of paying for this failure of a hotel. This November, vote for Don Dazarn and Sean O'Connor. They're not your typical candidates.